Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a 67 Mustang GT, 289 under the hood. It is an award winner, guys. It's said several awards. It's been judged several times and you're gonna love checking it out. So go to the website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We're gonna get it on the lift for you so you can see the bottom. We're gonna fire it up. We're gonna get it out and drive it. We're gonna show you everything you wanna see so you can make a great decision on your Mustang investment. So come on up and we'll fire it up for you right now. So look at this beautiful Mustang. Now right down here in the grills where you see those awards, looks like 1993 and 2000. Senior award winner. Beautiful chrome, beautiful paint. All the emblems look good. The hood fits nice and flush. Great looking wheels and tires on it. Trim rings look good. Center caps look great. Wheel lip moldings look like they may be original. There are a couple of nicks in the wheel lip molding, but it's nice and shiny. Rocker molding looks good. Paint as slick as can be. All the body lines are lining up nice. Now that door handle looks like it's probably original to the car and it's in beautiful shape. Pop the door open here. It's opening nice and smooth. The lips here look nice and clean. The rubber looks good. The paint on the door looks good. The door panel itself is in beautiful shape. Steering wheel looks good. Center console, and you notice that four speed in there, guys? Man, this thing's cool. The upholstery on the seats looks good. Of course, it's a fold down back seat, and you see there's seat belts back there in the back, too. You can check out the pictures online. You'll be able to see that back seat folded up. Dash pad looks good. All the chrome on the dash looks good. The faces of the gauges all look good. This is all stuff you need to be looking at when you're checking out a classic car quarter straight as can be. You can see all the reflections look good. We've got good looking chrome here on the bumper, good looking chrome on the surrounds on the taillights. The molding here on the deck lid looks good. The GT caps looking great. Check out inside the trunk. Look at that trunk. Anybody that spends that much time on a trunk, you know they did a fantastic job on the restoration on the car. We got the spare tire in there. Wheel wells are nice and clean. The gutters here around the uh, Trunk opening are nice and clean and nicely painted. The lips on the deck lid are nicely painted and nice and smooth. The rubber's been replaced. Look down the side of the car, straight as an arrow. Now, Vanguard Motor Sales does not do consignment. That means we own every one of our cars. Right now, we have a little over 235 cars in stock and we own every one of those cars. Now, we're bringing in between 45 and 50 new cars every month. And I'm in charge of taking care of picking out every one of those cars. So what that means to you is you're getting my expert help helping you pick out your dream car. Let's take our award-winning pony for a ride. <laughs> this thing is sweet, guys. Mustang award winner. Doesn't get any better than this right here. Four speed, handling great, sounding great, looking beautiful. Take this to any car show and be proud. I'll tell you what, I'm about ready to make this my daily driver. What a sweet ride we've got here. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this little Mustang anywhere in the world. So you just call Tom at 248-974-9513 and he will tell you just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway no matter where you live in the world. So give him a call. He does answer his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. If that man's awake, he will answer his phone. Now, if you leave him a message, he will return your call. And if you call and don't leave him a message, he will return your call. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Now, look down here on the dash. We got the speedos working here. The gauges are working. 
The windshield wipers are working. It's got the AM radio. It's playing static just like they always did. I love the garage door too. That's cool. Horn's working. I'll tell you, she is a beauty, guys. Now, we're real close to the airport, so if you'd like to drive in and check out our stable where we're keeping all these beautiful ponies, and we got a few Chevrolets too, and a couple of Mopars. Okay, we got 235 cars in stock. We got street rods and everything. We're real close to that airport, so we're, it's a quick ride over here. We have a lot of people come and do it in one day. They come in in the morning, check out the place, head home that night. A lot of them are heading home with cars. We just closed a deal today. Gentleman bought a GTO, flew in in the morning. He's already on the airplane on his way back home, and we're gonna ship his GTO out to him next week. We're right here at 15100 Keel Street, and we're about to do something that nobody else on the planet does. We're gonna put this car up on the rack so you can check out the underside. We're gonna pop the hood, see what's making the power. We're gonna drive around this person backing up the driveway. <laughs> That's Carly. Anyway, we're gonna get this up in the air for you right now so you can check out the bottom side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the underside of our 1967 Mustang Fastback. Unfortunately, Greg had to step out of the shop for the tail end of this video, so I'm gonna finish it up for him. So starting from the back forward, as we always do, we do have a brand new gas tank underneath, underneath this car. Um, it does look like we have a kit exhaust on it, which is like the original type of exhaust that would be on this car. Um, drop downs look like they're in pretty good shape on this thing. I can't tell if they've been replaced, but they look to be, I, don't, I believe these are original to the car, um, as far as what I'm seeing here. It looks like we have um, Probably painted up original leaf springs, if I'm not mistaken, but they put the nice new clamps on them. They've just gone through them, made sure that they're all together. Um, now, as far as axles go, this is a Ford 8-inch rear end here, 2.81 gear ratio, and um, it is an uh, open differential here from what I can see. Um, moving forward to that, we have the rest of our exhaust system here. As you can see, it's got like almost like glass pack style mufflers on it. Um, looking at the floor pans, I do believe these to be the original floor pans as well on this car. I'm not seeing any pitting or anything like that on them, and I can still see all the spot welds on the pinches over here. You know, on both sides you can see it, which is implying this thing actually was in pretty darn good shape. It didn't get too rotten or anything like that, and then I try to just kind of clean it off. It, you know, it looks like it's actually in pretty good shape. Um, looks like a brand new fuel line on the car using the factory clips. Um, of course, we do have our frame rails here that are, that are not rotten. There's a couple little dents in them, but no real big deal. Drive shaft is painted up just as it would be from the factory to mimic the bare metal look, which is, if I'm not mistaken, what this should be. Moving forward of all of that, we got looks like a uh, nicely painted up transmission cross member. We do have a brand new motor, transmission mount in it, excuse me. Now, as far as transmissions go, this is a Ford top loader four speed transmission. Um, now, this would be one of the, you know, the more bad transmissions, and I do that mean in a good, I do mean that in a good sense. Um, for uh, Ford, it's four-speed trans. Now, this one is not numbers matching to the car. It's actually a 1968 model year. Um, it is a Mustang correct transmission. It is a wide ratio, and uh, overall, you know, it's a good transmission to have. Moving forward of all that, we do have the uh, just original type bell housing in here. Uh, the spacer plate in here, original type starter. This is the underside of our 289. We're gonna get to that in just a second. I'd like to point out that I actually have the correct starter wires and clamps and stuff like that, as opposed to some just hood rattery running through here. A lot of the time you see a lot of the people like to do that, so that's also good stuff there to see. Um, let's see here, fuel pump looks to be more or less original. Um, now, as far as the front suspension goes, it looks like we have brand new bushings on our sway bar, brand new sway bar links. Um, these come loaded and they come painted like this, so I'm assuming this has all been repainted or uh, replaced. We do have uh, upper ball joints on this thing. We do, or, you know, replaced upper ball joints. We have disc brakes in the front too. Uh, power, um, excuse me, power uh, steering on this car. I almost said power brakes. Uh, moving forward of all of that, we look like we got new springs and shocks on the front there. Frame rails look like they're in really good shape. Once again, you can see all of your spot welds where all this stuff was put together from the factory. It's not been obscured by rust or anything like that. So overall, Really nice car, very well kept, uh, very well, you know, it, it just looks very nice. So that all being said, let's take a look at rolling stock. All right, for rolling stock, we have 20570R14 with the original type Mustang wheel that would be on this. The tires are uh, BF Goodrich Radial TAs, which are very common. You see these on a lot of our cars here. 
Um, paint work underneath here looks like it's in really good shape. Of course, you know, all the low spots on here is where you start to see the rust, especially where uh, the drain is on the back of this fender. You'll see it like right here, and that there's a drainage channel that runs right along in through here, and that's where they start to get really rotten, and this one feels like it's in really good shape behind here. Overall, I'm very happy to see it. Let's go take a look at the rear. All right, guys, for the rear, we have the same good size, 205-70 R14 with the same good-looking wheel on here. Uh, beauty ring looks like it's in good shape. And once again, I want to bring your attention to the paint, and especially this uh, pinch weld right here. A lot of the time, you don't see it as nice a shape as this is. Overall, pretty nice. The paintwork continues to be pretty good coming all the way down here. And another popular spot for them to rot is right going to be at this spot right here where all this comes together. And it all seems like it's in good shape. And if you'll look just underneath this trim piece here, spot weld, spot weld, spot weld, all the way through here with the factory drainage thing right here. Um, overall, the sheet metal on this car is in really good shape. And I mean, when you go to do a restoration, the better car you start with, the better car you're going to end up with. And you can see they started with a pretty nice car when they did this. So overall, I've, it's got my seal of approval. Let's go take a look at the motor. All right, guys, for an engine, we do have a 289 in here. Now, what I believe has happened here is more than likely the lower end of this engine has been replaced. Now, the casting uh, number on this is a C5AE, which is a 289 block for those of which you are not familiar with Fords. Um, the casting date is a 4K22, which is uh, late 1964. And also the machining date here, which is what the, is typically stamped here, is also has a four in the front of it, which is implying this engine was uh, actually for a 1965 model year car, at least the lower end of it. Um, however, the intake manifold, the original tag, and so on and so forth is all 1966 correct stuff, 1967, uh, excuse me, 1967 stuff. So that all being said, what I believe has happened here is the lower end of this engine has been replaced. Now, of course, it is a 289 block and it is nice and healthy. So you don't have to worry about any of that stuff, but once again, it is not numbers matching. At least the lower end of it is not. Now, like I had mentioned, we do have the original type intake manifold that's on this. Um, above the intake manifold, we have an Autolite 2100 uh, two-barrel carburetor, which is exactly what would be on this from the factory. This thing does still maintain its original point setup inside this distributor here. Um, outside of all that, looks like they have the factory host or factory type host clamps. Very well, well could be the original hose clamps on everything here that I'm seeing. Um, looks like it's got the, uh, almost looks like the correct part number alternator that's on it. Like I had mentioned underneath, power steering. We have power brakes up here. Looks like the original type booster and everything with all the factory little clamps and so on and so forth. Firewall looks like it's in really nice shape. Um, of course, you know, they start to get kind of rough, you know what I mean, especially kind of low on them where like, the, say for example, this car lived its life in Michigan. They started to get scaly down in that corner there. Yeah, I can see all the nice factory, like all the stamp, the uh, strengthening ribs and whatnot all the way down in that corner there. The wiring harness over here looks like it's all been replaced, looks nice, they have a nice battery topper on it. However, this is a modern battery underneath all of that. Um, so overall, pretty nice job on the restoration, good looking radiator in it. It's got the, uh, the washer fluid tank, they even have a little sticker there to show you want to change your oil. Overall, pretty nice. Um, it's an excellent quality driver if you ask me. And if you'd like to have this one parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom, the number below. I'm at Vanguard Motor Sales, park this stream in your driveway.